so if we look at these two men, although their professional experience is very similar, Gahadza holds a more enviable record with only two losses. He's two inches shorter and five years younger than Fletcher, but either way, this is a meeting of two very experienced Bama veterans who both know the vital importance of getting the win here tonight and moving forward once more. As always, Buddy Johnson, our MC, is ready to make the official announcement. Presenting three five-minute rounds of action. This is a welterweight showdown. Bama London, live on Unilad. Introducing first, fighting in the blue corner. He stands six feet two inches tall and weighed in officially at 170.4 pounds. A professional record of 15 wins, nine defeats. Representing TFT, made for the Cage Academy and Fight Pit from Sunderland, Northeast England, presenting Colin Freak Show Fletcher. And his opponent in the red corner, standing six feet tall and weighing officially at 170.4 pounds, a professional record of 16 wins against two defeats. Representing TSG Fight School, he hails from Zimbabwe, but represents South and on Sea. Presenting Walter the Sniper. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Mark Goddard. So, Chris, this really is, as you said so poetically, the road to redemption for both men in this welterweight challenge. Touch of gloves, inside low kick there from Fletcher. Look out for the Muay Thai from both guys and the Jiu-Jitsu. And one of the things we've always said when you look at Gahadza, what a physical specimen. You know, he's really big and strong at this weight. One of the big questions for me was who will have the speed advantage in these exchanges? Gahadza noticeably trying to bait Fletcher into reaching in a little bit long with those upper body movements, some feints and fakes. Nice one, two there from Freak Show. That's what we needed to see. Real bread and butter combinations. He's got to stay busy. Now, you mentioned his ground game and the fact that his first 10 wins by submission and yet he loves to stand and trade Chris it, it's an enigma isn't it that was one of the things he didn't get the chance to do last time against the Frenchman right he fell to the wrestling but Gahadza in his opinion was going to look for a war tonight you know what Freak Show told us here earlier that's all right with me this is the thing about the man you never know what you're going to get with the Freak Show Gahadza looking very motivated and focused and you heard the crowd respond he's put a huge crowd here tonight Gahadza and each time he lands on the Freak Show the crowd go wild I like the stutter stepping here Colin's doing a good job of landing that inside low kick fastball right here and there from Gahadza now you wonder if with the power of Gahadza that eventually the Freak Show might look to go down. Chris, he's being caught upright and thrown around by Gahadza. When will the Freak Show look to go downstairs and maybe take his man down? Colin's got to stay disciplined. That jab was working some pretty good combinations early. But now in the second minute of this fight, Gahadza's hunting with that overhand right. And Freak Show staying in the pocket with him, staying there and trading. We've seen this so many times. Now, you mentioned his last bout. He admitted how frustrating that was for him, and he wanted to get that frustration out of his system. Maybe that's what's making him stand and trade, because both men went for the big right hands there. That was out of the Rocky film, Rocky and Apollo Creed there, with the freeze frame. Both guys are throwing that right hand with absolutely vicious intent. It could come down to who can land first. It could be that simple, Chris, because they're both really planting their feet when they do it as well. And Gahadza has really brought the support here. You got to watch out when you're moving your head off the center line to the outside, right, and loading up on that right, that you don't run into a counter right from your opponent. That's what almost happened to both men there earlier, Chris. You can see them now looking to lure the other one in to make the shot to be countered. Inside low kick, checked by Colin. You can see him showing that cross check. That open stance is really interesting, right? When Colin is right foot forward and Gahadza is left foot forward, 
it opens up some interesting kicking exchanges. It also makes the right hands more interesting as well, Chris, when they both run. There's Kahatsu with the short left, and the crowd respond immediately. Now, Freak Show went low, Gahatsu went high, dangerous times. Smile there from the sniper, that chuck hook landed, right hand. Left hook there from Gahadza. He's looking to throw the bombs now, Chris. He's walking the Freak Show down, he's getting close. Having said that, Colin catches the chin of Gahadza, and he walks through it. Colin's got to keep those hands up and keep sort of trying to slip those punches coming in, but not dip his head, because Gahadza's got the uppercut on tap. Well, we're almost coming to the final minute, and it's been totally upright. There's the, just as he went to spin, Gahadza caught the freak show. You just feel that one clean could change this totally for either man here, Chris. I cannot believe the power of both men at this weight class. Kyle looks in really good shape, right? Last time it seemed he got tired. I was worried whether or not he had a ling lingering injury or perhaps a poor weight cut, but both guys look as good as we've seen them in a long time. And Walter Gahadza looks so focused. That was the uppercut from hell, and... Colin Fletcher just took it. He ate that uppercut and carried on coming forward. That was the best shot of the round so far, and you almost have to re remind yourself that it happened. Yeah, that was the uppercut that I was seeing Gahadza look for. Colin's got to be really cautious here and keep those hands up. And his head movement, not predictable, because Gahadza's trying to work out the timing. Uppercut again there from Gahadza. Colin looks to spin in defense, but Gahadza drops his hands, walks him down, supremely confident, and he really is beginning to tee up with these punches now. Chris, and how is Colin still taking? That was another right he took. You wonder how many more he can take. And you can see him move his head to the left, and that's the danger, is Gahadza timed that, read it, and intercepted with the right cross. Great round. Oh, very exciting, Chris, and I'm amazed again. Colin Fletcher has said to us beforehand, if, if Walter if Walter wants to stand and trade, I'm happy. And he is, but look at this. That was a brilliant shot, and I wonder whether the Freak Show really needs, after looking at these replays, to change tactics in the second. You know what's interesting? I think that when he was using the jab and sort of leading with those straight punches, using the push kick, finishing his combinations with kick to attack the base of Gehazza, it was working, but that was only about 60 seconds to the good, right? And as the round went on, we saw Gehazza get more comfortable, loosen up, and land some really nasty power strikes. Both guys can stop each other, right? But Colin needs to fight smart, stick and move. It's intriguing for me because you can see the intent on Gahadza's face. You know he wants to put things right on his perspective here. And he's loading up those shots. Colin's chin has been tested twice cleanly and he's taken it. But you don't want anyone to keep taking it just to prove they've got a strong chin. You've got to find alternatives. You've got to find a way to work back into this. And I do still wonder whether there comes a point when Colin says, let's, let's test this on the ground. So two of a scheduled three here. Both guys promised in the run-up a better version of themselves tonight. That certainly combined for an exciting round. And that's already happened compared to their first fight. This is already so much better. Uppercut again, corkscrew uppercut. That's crazy how quick Gahadza is with that. Well, he's looking to walk through whatever Colin throws to throw that big right hand. You know the setup, you know what's coming. Look, you can see he, he's, talk, or he, he's saying to him, come on, come on, throw it. And then look, the body language, everything, the shoulder movement is teeing up that right hand press. Colin's problem with that jab, that's better stuff, I think, but he cannot be a stationary target. Because I think the speed advantage, which was, again, one of the big questions for me, is going to get Hadza right now. And again, Fletcher happy to stand a trade, and he's landed clean success this time. Is there a twist in the tail when it's up right like this? Because Colin Fletcher got through with a nice combination there. Gadza gets the double leg. The crowd loving every minute of it here. That was the twist, Chris. It's Gahadza that goes for the takedown, and he did it with, uh, for me at the right time. Two good shots from Fletcher. He takes him cleanly and firmly to the canvas, and now looking to posture up. This is where Dizzy got the better of Freak Show last time. He was able to put him on his back, but more importantly, he was able to pass guard every single time and dominate side control or north-south. Up go the legs, though. Arm bar here. Colin looking to try to hit that arm lock mount. Well, this is what you forget in Colin Fletcher's history, the submission wins early in his career. The man that would take you down. And he's got it! He's done it! He's done it again! I talked about his early career. He's revisited that. The Freak Show is back, Chris.
Chris. We said about his submission skills, finally he learns, and what a time to do it. Went out there, through the hands, through the kicks, but it was the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in the end. Colin Freak Show Fletcher, ladies and gentlemen. And what a great way to win this fight. He fought a guy that was throwing hell for leather in Gahadza, but the moment Gahadza took him down, it was Freak Show who had the last laugh. And that was the irony, Chris. Look, Walter Gahadza is inconsolable. The irony was, it was after Colin had shown very good boxing skills. Walter took him down. Full guard here. Fletcher thinking about some elbows, but doing a great job of controlling Gahadza, breaking the passion. Look at this beautiful spinning arm lock. Walks off the cage, going belly down really kind of hipping into it and he obviously made some adjustments there you can see the way he's just holding on with that baseball back grip this was an in shape motivated colin freak show fletcher and there's the results and before that what a chin he showed to get to that point there was two moments in the first round where he might not have even still been there but he sucked it up and got where he needed to be this is a huge win for fletcher in a fight that he was arguably losing so great stuff here from both guys we knew it was going to be an exciting one Two rounds deep, and Freak Show gets the sub. And Walter Gahadza must think, what have I got to do at Bama to get the win? He looked in such good shape. His boxing was superb. And we're going to go to Buddy Johnson to make this one official in the Freak Show's favour. Our referee, Mr. Mark Goddard, call a stoppage to this bout. One minute, 50 seconds into round number two. Declaring a winner by submission with an arm bar. Colin Freak Show Fletcher. The Freak Show is back in the big time here at Bama, London. What a win for Colin Fletcher.